everybody. Well, just enjoying a beautiful summer day here on the Sport Glide and can't really take these turns too crazy because they're the road kind of stinks and the traffic. Anyways, today's topic, I'm going to talk about why I got the Sport Glide and what I was choosing beforehand. Um, you know, I, I had a few of the bikes that I was thinking of buying, you know, just choosing from. I, I, I went on a few demo days at my dealership here. Test roads, you know, the touring lines, you know, road glides, sport. Bumpy road. <laughs> but road glide and the uh, street glide and all those. And uh, every soft tail. And they didn't have a fat bob available. But I rode every soft tail. And I really like the, the soft tail slim and I like the heritage. And I actually didn't have much time in this bike just because my boots I had at the time were real thick, right? Real thick on the on the uh, the toe, and the shifter wasn't set right, so it wasn't comfortable. So I didn't really enjoy that ride. So I just didn't really, you know, think about this bike, this sport light. So after. A few months of owning my Sportster Iron 1200, which I love that bike. I guess I'm gonna go because y'all just sitting there. Um, I outgrew it. I want to set my wife and be on the back of. Now I was thinking number one, Softail Slim. Love the classic look of the Harley's Softail Slim. It looks like a uh, 1950s bike, but modernized and still kept the same style. And I loved it. And you can just, as if any hard you could customize it. But I mean, you get a seat for it and some passenger pegs and, you know, a windshield if you wanted. And you got yourself a little light tour. You do a lot of construction here. Or, because that's basically turning it into a. A heritage right <laughs> so why don't I just get the heritage instead so I was like you know I'll, I'm gonna get a heritage and I wanted the 114 and go to the dealership my sales guy uh, lurch that's what he goes by do like six foot seven or something like that big old badass dude anyways shout out lurch uh, he's like i know you want the heritage 114 but you can't pass this deal up and it shows me this the sport glide and my only memory of the sport glide was just you know not really liking it too much and it's not the bike's fault it's just it wasn't set up right for my size of freaking clod hoppers you know what i mean and uh i'm like yeah i'll go ahead and i'll check it out you know so he takes the sport glide and i take the heritage and imagine you know a six foot seven guy on a sport glide it's kind of interesting so uh, anyway, so we're going on, a, on a, you know, a good little test ride, and I'm thinking like, man, I don't, I don't know if I like the Sport Glide. I like the classic look of, you know, the, the heritage, and I guess that makes me look like an old man. I guess I don't know, <laughs> but uh, so I love the heritage, and halfway through a ride we swap bikes 
get on spoke glide. I'm like, all right, all right, all right, you know. Not as plush as far as the ride comfort goes. But, you know, I, I could dig it, I could dig it. It was actually set up right for me, too. What the heck this guy doing? Well, anyways. So I'm, uh, I'm a sport glad and I start doing, you know, this and taking some turns and I'm like, I really like this and it's got cruise control and it's set up really good and I wasn't knocking the looks of the bike. I just preferred the looks of the heritage a little bit more. So this bike wasn't even on the radar. So. I go back inside, you know, I, I finally finished this test ride of Lurch, and I said, so why do you say I can't pass up this deal? And mind you, this is Christmas Eve of 2019, okay? And he says, well, this is a 2019, one of the few we have left, and we got end-of-the-year blowout specials because we got 2020s right now. And we're trying to get rid of our 2019s. Now, before his test ride, we had three miles on the bike. Three miles. Not even touch. Been sitting in the showroom for a while. So they gave me a killer deal I could not refuse. I mean, I got basically a $20,000 bike for the price of the regular lowrider. And I love it. And that's how I got the sport glide. And I've been smiling ear to ear ever since. So anyways, how how was your how was it like when you first bought your bike? What were you going through? What was going through y'all's mind? Um What about your current bike? You know, was it was it everything that you were looking for? Or did your mind get changed like mine? Let me know in the comments. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Peace out, y'all.